Hello, hello, my YouTube friends. This is Isabel with Crafting with Isabel. Um, I wanted to upload this video earlier, but health-wise, I'm not doing okay. I have this pain on my stomach that is excruciating. I took some naproxen not too long ago and it calmed down. But if tomorrow I feel the same way, I'm gonna have to go to the urgent care or something. Um, because it's been three days today. So hopefully tomorrow I feel better. So the reason for my video today, I hope everybody's well and staying safe and all of that good stuff and crafting. Um, today I'm here to share um, a new video for um, Tina's design team, which is Tina Loves to Craft. Um, and this kit is called Elani's, Elani's Dream. I have a video on the, a kit um, where I share um, all the beautiful pages because the paper is stunning. It's beautiful. You get a whole bunch. I think it's 38 pages in total, if I'm not mistaken. And the paper is just, wow, beautiful. If the first ones were gorgeous, this one is no different. And um, I'm um, very happy and very honored to be um, part of this um, um, Tina's design team. Um, uh, and what I, I'm going to share with you what I made with the collection. At the same time, I added some stuff that I had in my stash because they kind of matched with um, the collection. So I did put some stuff, um, pockets and journaling cards. I made some tags. I might add some lace. I don't know to the pages because I think it has enough. It's three signatures, two and a half inch spine, um, six and a half wide by nine inches tall. But the first thing that I, I was trying to create was these envelopes. This is one of the ones that I made and um oh i had a I have a pearl on my finger um with the paper from the collection and i can use this to send something some um happy mail or something in there so and then this was the first one that i made i'm not too happy with it i'm still gonna use it because it came out too thick i think there you can feel the foldings but then i love this part what i did here that I put that um, layer and then on the other side as well and I like it I, I like it and this is part of the collection that's the beautiful bird the feathers the um, lace and then we have the same thing on the other side I must use it to send some like journaling stuff in it to somebody so I created those two. I want to create some more, but I want to get better at it because this one, I like the way I did it because I didn't fold on both. I just used one. I left half an inch around on one and then I folded it in. So it's not that, that thick. It looks better. The flap came out small, but I can put some um, Velcro dots there or just um, leave it like that. I don't know. So that's what I created first. And this is what I created second, okay? This is my journal. Let me push my tri tripod. Let me push it a little bit so I can put, okay, there. So this is paper from the collection. It's beautiful. This is like my favorite from the collection. I love them all, but this one is like my favorite, favorite, favorite. And um, I just dressed it all around. I put the corners, the book corners on it. I put some glue and then I slide them in. Then I, I searched for a picture that had rose to, because um, I wanted the picture to have like a girl and roses and stuff. So this one matched perfectly with that. And I love the way she looks there. I might do some um, triple thick on the image. Maybe, I'm not sure, to make it um, lasting so it will last more. I put this metal, oh, first I put the lace. You see this lace, all pink lace all around. It matches with the um, flowers. I put all these pearls um, on the, I framed it with pearls and then I put some over here on this part of the spine. 
because my paper was kind of cracking. Yeah, I, I think I'm gonna have to put some more pearls on the other side to cover them because I don't know, I kind of, I'm kind of a perfectionist, <laughs> I will say. So I found these little metal flowers in my stash and then I put the pink pearl in the center. These pearls are from Dollar Tree. Then I found these ones are a little bit darker, but they work. And I put these two applique butterflies, one on each corner, bottom on top. Two more metal flowers over here with the pearl in it. I'm gonna show you the outside of it before anything. Um, that's the back. I did the lace the same way all around here. It got stained with some ink, but I really don't mind. It doesn't make it ugly. Maybe I put my, my made by Isabel, put it over here to cover it or something. So then I have the spine where you see these, that's where the thread for the spines are. So I have three pieces and then I have lace. I don't know if you can appreciate it. There's lace underneath, the same lace that I put on the cover is right there on the back. I put some more pearls here on this side and let's get inside. I'm very excited with these um with these um journal because I did something different that I've never done before and it's the waterfall guys look I put a brand right here on the first one some elastic and then I made a loop I put this flower down there you see that flower right there and then I made a loop you open it you have one two three four five six seven eight nine and then you have a pocket right there for something small like a letter something that you want to keep private very very private you can put it just in that pocket or maybe pictures that don't fit in here you want to put them in there and these i made them um, i did the the one inch and fold it in the half an inch i'm sorry and fold it in so it will you see let me show you is not completely flat so um i did that i did it on the front and i did it oops on the back it's the same thing the hook here with the um elastic um on the oops on the flower right here and if you want to look at your pictures on the same pocket over here then in the background i have the same as this one but the one with the writing it's the same color well this is lighter than the one that i use on the screen because she has a darker color and a lighter color of these so this is the lighter one and then this on the back is the same color but with the writing on it i love it i love it i love it then i have two more corners on the back and then you just put the elastic back okay so let me share the signatures there's three signatures like i said when you open it you have a pocket here from the paper from the collection you have this is from the collection i made a um, journaling card then this was on my in my stash and then i made this um tag out of one of the papers as well is this trust you can just journal on the back then we have this one this girl she's from the collection she's beautiful and then i have a corner pocket from the collection as well and this is from my stash i just stuck it in there and everything is distressed and um you see i distressed everything it took me like a whole day to distress everything this is um beautiful paper from the collection it has lines on it so i didn't want to cover this one because you can still journal with a dark like a black pen maybe then this is from the collection as well the flowers and the feathers and this pocket is made out of one of the papers as well and in here i have this little envelope and i don't know if i put anything in it there's something there that i did put something in it but i didn't put anything in this one it's tiny you can put a little note then these two envelopes are from the collection this is the way they open 
and they're always dressed the same way this dressing takes time guys especially if you're making a journal then i have this side pocket over here i still gotta do the knot the, the little notches over here but i left my uh, circle punch home so when i get home i will fix that then i have these um journaling cards for my stash in there that they can be used the paper in the bag is from the collection i did this one is this one over here is from my stash and i printed double like i went and printed out and put it again and printed up like all of them are double sided then i have this image and i put it in there in this beautiful frame right there i'm gonna stamp something there um I have the stamps here, so tomorrow I'll check to see what I want to stamp in there. Um, this is from the collection. Look how beautiful the roses and the feathers. This line, this one is from a file that I bought on Etsy. It's a, it's a, um, I'll tell you in a little bit when I get there. Then this one is not double-sided because um, it's just like a, um, Oh my God, I can't say. Okay, these, this one right here is from my stash. I bought these on Etsy as well. Her is from the collection. Look how gorgeous she is. I didn't want to put anything on her because I didn't want to cover her. So she's beautiful. You see, I got double-sided. I, 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 on some, like this one right here. This is going to be a long video, I think. On this one right here. I printed her there and then I printed something different some other paper from the collection on the back to make it you know double-sided different um, paper this one pink one right here is from my stash as well and I did um, print it double-sided this is from the collection it's beautiful I'm telling you guys this collection is just gorgeous look at the bird and all the writing and the roses this music paper I bought from um, Etsy and I double sided it as well. It's a double sided. This one is from my collection. This is from the collection. Look how beautiful. Tell me that's not gorgeous. That's just beautiful. I am. Um, this is the other side is from the same collection the paper that i love with the writing on it because i printed on cardstock and i printed on comp um, copy paper this one is from my stash is dye pages this one i don't know if i'm gonna distress it or not because i think i had to rip out the other side and i think so yeah because i broke it when i was these are so delicate that i broke it when i was trying to distress it so i don't know maybe i do it with a makeup sponge see if it doesn't get messed up so we have um this from my stash this is journaling space this is from the collection and then you get the bird on this corner this is this dye, green dye paper was gifted to me by my dear dear sis dahlia she sent it to me and i thought it go perfect with the paper so on here i put a pocket that i made from the same um collection this is from the collection and i made this little journaling card from the collection as well so you can journal on them and this one i didn't do nothing but then on this one i put another pocket made with the paper from the collection and then this one's from my stash and this one is from the beautiful collection i think they're just gorgeous then this butterfly was for my stash. I didn't glue the, the wings. I just glued the, the center. This is from the collection as well. And then on the back, I have the journaling part of the um, kit. Over here, I have the graphic paper with the roses. It's from the collection as well. This one, I think is from my stash. I made it into a pocket and I put these from the collection in there. We have these two. We have these two. Oops. In there. But it has space so you can put more stuff in it. Then this was from, oh, I can't remember, it was from the collection. 
but this beautiful um journaling card i just put it there i'm kind of you know offside it offside it um then i made a pocket with the paper from the collection and i put this one is from my stash i'm thinking yeah and then this one is from the collection i made a tag i think it's super cute um, I'm gonna try to heavy up, guys. Another pocket made out of the. I gotta glue that a little bit more. From the paper from the collection, more of the green dye paper. I have her there as a journaling card. I think she's gorgeous. Then I have this one. is from the collection. Um, I was thinking of putting something on it, but I haven't decided. I have two options. So when I decide which one is that I want there, maybe some feathers, I'm not sure. I'm battling, battling between two options. I put this tag over here with the journaling, um, as a journaling um, spot. This is from the collection. Oh, I didn't show you that these, I printed on cardstock, these come from um, a file that I bought on Etsy and I thought it went good to make the covers for the signatures because it matches so that's what I did with that I forgot to tell you that I got some more journaling space here from my stash from the collection we are about to finish signature number one you see this one I left it but I had to cut all the rest of it of the doily and that's what I got left with I don't know if I'm gonna keep it or I'm gonna rip it out I haven't decided the other side of the paper that I dyed in my house, some um, composition um, paper. Then I had this one in my stash, and then this beautiful tag. The pocket is made out of the um, collection, and the collection name is Elani's Dream. I think I said it at the beginning, but in case I didn't, it's called Elani's Dream. And this is from the collection as well. So the papers and the signatures are just copy paper. The covers for the signatures are cardstock. Then we have this beautiful, I don't know if I want to, uh, I think it's a great spot for journaling. I don't know if I want to do something to that. More journaling, more journaling from my stash. The other side of the music paper. More paper from the collection the other side we have this beautiful pocket and then this one is from the collection and then this one is from my stash it's a journal because i think i put a lot of stuff that you can journal in because i left some pages without doing anything on them this one i don't know if i want to do maybe a, a corner pocket maybe a corner pocket I'm not sure. Look at her, how gorgeous. I have her there. Um, she's so beautiful that I don't want to cover her. Then you have lines over here that you can journal on. This is from my stash. This is from the collection. I just ripped the edges and distressed it and put it there as the journaling spot. Then this is the other side of the paper and it doesn't have a name, but it's kind of to do like an inventory or something. We have more lines over here to journal, more lines on the back. This is the other side of the paper that I put on for my stash. This is from the collection, she's from the collection. And in here, I have this from the collection, this, and this tag. Everything from Tina's um, collection. We're done with signature number one, I think, yeah. No, we have a pocket, I forgot. I put pockets on both sides of the signature, the front and the back, because you can just, see, I put this from my stash, but the pocket is made out of the collection. Done with signature number one, that's the back of the um, paper. Then we have these, um, pocket i made it with a paper from the collection right here and then i made these oh, hold on. you can journal in them 
And this is from the collection as well, from the kit. I keep on saying collection, it's the same thing, I think. So that's there on the inside of the, because this is the other cover from the, and this one is upside down, but I don't mind. I'm gonna put something there to cover that, but that's okay. That was a whoopsie. Then this is paper, is from the collection, the beautiful bird with the lace. We have these two mini packets that I put little Velcro dots that I found on at, um, AliExpress and they're perfect. I put this little um, card in there. Uh, oh, come on. And then close it and then I have another one right here. This one is from the collection. Let me see if I can get it out. Oof, I'm starting to sweat. And the AC is on. That's from the collection. From the yeah, I keep on saying collection. It's gonna stay collection. <laughs> the kit. You guys know what I mean. This packet. This packet is made out of uh, paper from the kit. And in there, I have these two pieces from the kit. Beautiful, right? And they're all distressed. Everything. Everything is distressed. If I forgot anything, I might notice now. But so far, I don't think so. I think I'm gonna do something on here. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do like a journaling card, a big one in there so they could write on. This one is from the collection. This one's from, your, from my stash. Then we have this other paper here. It's like for inventory of the, to make a list and then the prices. Very nice, I bought this on Etsy. Then we have the um, paper from the kit. Over here, this corner pocket is from the is from the kit, and then this beautiful envelope with the little beautiful girl is from the kit as well. And I just stuck it in there. I try to distress this. I'm gonna distress it more. The doily because I'm scared of breaking it. Look at this, the grid with the roses and the green leaves. I think it's gorgeous. More lines to journal. more lines to journal this little piece right here is from the collection and then the tag comes from the collection as well i used it like i like a little um talk spot there corner pocket from the collection i'm gonna keep on saying collection well this is from my stash and this is from the collection Put it in there. and we have more of the collection over here music paper with the doilies, I printed double-sided. Um, more paper from the kit. This pocket was from my stash, and then we have, I think I put it wrong. I think it goes, I don't know which way, I think, yeah, this way. We have this in there, and then we have these that I think it matched because of the um, rows, so I put it in there. And this paper is from my stash collection. This paper with the lines is from the collection. More of my paper that I dyed. Then the pink one comes from Dahlia, my sis Dahlia. She sent me this. She did this with tie-dye and I think the colors came out beautiful. And I have a pocket, a corner pocket here. And I have these as well from the collection. Then we have a side pocket over here and in here I have a, a journaling card for my stash then we have more journaling space here and here we have this pocket is from the collection and this is from the collection as well this one is from the collection it's just beautiful this paper is just like um, more journaling um, space you see that it has lines on it. Um, we have another pocket that I made here with the paper from the collection. And then we have the pretty girl envelope as well. I love these envelopes. They're so cute. You can journal. Or oh, I can make some corner pockets. Or I don't know. Uh, or whoever gets it. If I sell it, they can do whatever they want to do with it. I have this corner pocket over here from the collection and then I have, this is from the collection. 
and then this journaling card from my stash. I think it matches because it has roses on it. Um, more of the paper that I dye paper. Then here, this um, journaling card this is from my stash, and then in there, I put this beautiful tag. You can um, journal on the back, and then you can journal here. And the roses on the corner are just beautiful. Another pocket with paper from the. <laughs> I feel weird without the nudges here. <laughs> But I forgot to bring it. That was some of the last steps that I had to do and I just left it home. A journaling card from my stash and then this envelope is from the collection. Look how pretty. And then you can put whatever, a letter, a note, something special, tickets from a date maybe. We have this side pocket over here. This is paper from the collection. This is from my stash. And then I have here a whole bunch of things, I think. Let me see. Yeah. I have this envelope from the collection. I have this tag from the collection. And then I have this journaling card from my stash. These journaling cards, if I'm not mistaken, I printed them out of Pinterest. So if you go to Pinterest, you find a lot of nice stuff that you can use on your journals. So that's that. Continuing. Paper from the collection my music this is a tag it has journaling it has lines so i put it there as a journaling spot um oh no 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 oh more journaling space this paper is like the color is like muted but you can see it's so like i don't know so pretty like more journaling it has a lot of journaling I might add some other stuff. I'm not sure. Maybe not. I have these um, picture from Pinterest on my computer. So I printed it out and put it there. And I don't have my computer with me. Um, we have the other side of the doily. That's broken. Then over here, um, the pocket. Um, and then we have these from my stash. And this one is from, I got them, I think from Pinterest, if I'm not mistaken as well. Yes, I got them from Pinterest. The roses, I think they go perfect. So that's why I put it there. Then this is the other side of the um, paper. More paper from the collection, more. This is a pocket right here. This was part of the collection. And then in here, I have an envelope from the collection and a journaling card from my stash. You can find awesome things on Pinterest. These two are from the collection. And they go... Um, in these from the collection as well. <sighs> We have these two journaling cards here. They're both from um, this one. I think I bought it on Etsy. And this one is from Pinterest. But I see stuff that is free. I just save them on my computer and use them later. These, I don't know what I'm thinking about something to, because it's so pretty with the bird on the corner. So I have it in here. So this is the other side of the lace um, paper. Let me put this in here because I'm going to use it. Then I have these other lace. All three of them are different. When you open, you have another one of these booklets in here. You can journal in. The pocket is made out of the paper from the collection. This is from the collection. And I want to put an image there, but maybe I'm going to put a bird. I think I have a pretty bird made out of is uh, like an image that I got from um, Pinterest and the bird is filled with um, roses. So I think you look cute there. Then I have all the, I have this other pocket made with from the collection and the green paper with the roses. This is from the collection. I made a tag. Um, and these two are from my stash, but I think they go well. So I just put them there. More journaling space. More journaling space. Collection. Collection. I found this girl on Pinterest as well. 
and I trimmed her out, distressed it around, and put it there as a belly band. So we have these two from the collection in there. I think she's beautiful, and she's got roses on her dress and her hat. Um, paper from my stash, more journaling space from my stash. This is from the collection. This is from my um, stash or file that I bought on Etsy. Um, from my stash, from the collection, from my stash. Journaling card from my stash, the corner po pocket is from the collection. The envelope is from the collection. And this tag is from my stash. I think it goes well, like I said, because of the roses. More beautiful paper from the collection. Over here, I did the same. I have two little envelopes. I didn't put anything in them. But I left this part unglued. And I have these beautiful um, tickets that I bought on Etsy. Let me show you. I think they go perfect, so I just stuck them there. You can write on the back of them, like a day, important date, a birthday, something that you want to remember, and just stick it in there. There you go. The paper on the background is from my stash. This one is from the collection. This one is from my stash. My stash. The collection. The collection. My stash. My stash. This one you can journal in the back, but this one you can journal on the back and on the front because it has the lines for it. So let me see this way, this way, and this way. Um, I'm about to be done guys I'm sorry that a video is long but we have um, the beautiful paper from the collection it has the leaves this is the one that I said that is so soothing like so so nice looking then I have more of the um, music paper with the doilies I have another journaling spot over here the paper on the background I think yeah and this is from the collection this is from my papers, dye papers. I got the pocket here on this one. I know it has journaling, but you still can you still can journal. That's why I'm thinking of putting more pockets on the other pages like this, because if you put a, a smaller corner pocket, you'll be able to write more, and then you have all these journaling. This is from these two are from the collection, and then this one is from my stash, and you'll be able to journal on that as well. Um, next page, this is from my stash, from my stash. This, Dahlia sent it to me, 